Hey guys, since we can't go on field, I'm quickly going to demonstrate from home uh, how we set the camera traps and some of the basic buttons and functions of the cutback color camera traps. We use these camera traps for uh, basic purposes or on field. These camera traps are used to capture your animal photographs or videos like we majorly use it to capture leopard photographs to get their flank images and identify the leopards and sometimes we also get some nice leopard videos in front of the camera this is what the cutback color c1 camera trap looks like it's a very small compact camera trap and before we get inside it's so this is the flash this is a white flash xenon flash which gives you color images this gives you uh, color images during the day and night just that it cannot record videos. If you want to record videos in the night, you will need something like an infrared flash here, which is basically infrared LEDs. This is the sensor of the camera. Make sure this sensor is never blocked by anything while setting up the camera trap. And this is the main camera. Now let's understand the working of this camera trap. Uh, there are these four buttons one is mode there is more and there are two arrow keys so the mode button works as uh, the menu button whereas the more works as the enter button so there are different modes you can see a clock you can see a man walking you can see some vertical and horizontal lines i'll quickly go through what each stands for so once you press the mode button the camera's functioning comes on first is the clock then there is a walk, walking person which is a test mode or the walk mode. Then the sleeping lines are which is stands for commands. You can see then the standing line stands for settings. The green button which is ARM is basically the button to set the camera trap on. And the off button is to press and set the camera trap off. Now in the clock you need to set the time it says 11.47 but the time right now here is uh, 5.45 pm. So to start off with that I'll first use the upper arrow key that will start the R, min, uh, R to blink. I'll use the arrow keys to set it to 5 pm. Since you can't change the am pm I have to take it through the whole cycle and it's set to 5 by pressing more, I'll have the other thing blinking, the minutes. I'm setting it to 5.45. If I press more again, it gets fixed. By pressing more again, I'll reach the date option. The format here is month, date and year. So my month is July, so I'll change it to 7. And July, so I'll take it to 7. 7 July. And the year being 2020, I'll take it to 20. Yeah, so my date and time is set. That's the only thing I have to do here. Next, what I you need to do, I'm making this video for a quick guide. You need to set the flash intensity. You can change the camera ID here in commands, but that is not what we want to do now. We want to change the strobe power. There are four modes. There is indoors there is close there is medium and there is far we do not need the far and medium more modes what we majorly use is close and indoors close this flash power should be used when your target animal and the distance between your animal and camera is anywhere between 6 to 10 feet is where i will use the close mode of strb power which stands for stroke power and if it's going to be less than that i'm going to use indoors to give me good images next i need to go to the settings there are three setup modes there is ez mode there is uh, sir which is surveillance mode and you have adv which is advanced mode by default the camera is set on ez mode and for basic use, it should be kept on EZ mode. There are very basic settings to be adjusted in the EZ mode. Once you have selected EZ mode in settings, I'll show it to you again. You go to settings. It is on EZ mode. You press more. The delay is basically time between camera getting triggered and clicking a photograph. So it should be at FAP, which is fast as possible. Next is 
so I'm setting it at FAP. There are five seconds, ten seconds, but I'm going to set it at FAP. Next is the video. I can select the duration of the video of ten seconds, twenty seconds, or thirty seconds, or I could keep it off. That is done in the settings mode. Next, what you need to do is your camera is ready now. The time is set. The f uh, flash strobe intensity is set, and you set the uh, mode. Before checking, setting the camera traps, always take a test of the camera whether it is working fine. So in the test mode, there is this red LED here. Whenever the camera detects anything in front of the camera, it gives you the signal. Also, you can test the flash intensity here. It takes time for the flash to charge, and once that is done, within five seconds, it will now give you the flash. Yeah, so to check the strobe flash intensity, I went to the strobe. Now, how you're going to set the camera trap on field is basically you're going to tie it to some tree. So let me show you how you're going to tie it. I'm putting it off for some time. To tie the camera trap, you will require this glass. You can see behind the camera trap, there is this gap. So just in case you don't have a class, you can just put a rope through this and tie your camera trap. But if you have a class, just check, you put your strap through it, make sure this notch is on top. Now this notch perfectly fits through this. You can see it perfectly goes and fits through it. And your camera trap is ready to be tied. Using this, you can tie it to a tree, a pole, whatever suits you best. What I am doing here now, I am showing you once you have tied the camera trap to your substratum, you should test it. I put it on the walk mode and you should walk in front of the camera trap in the same size as the animal would be walking. This is what I am doing, I am just doing a fake walk and you see how once I cross the sensor, the camera trap detects it. So with all those things done, your camera trap is now ready. You set the time, the strobe power, your settings. Now to put the camera on and off, it's very simple, just you need to use just two buttons. To put it on first, you have to press the mode button, take the camera trap on arm. And if there's any problem here, the camera trap will tell you about it. Like right now it is saying check SD, that is because there is no SD card inserted in the camera trap. Here is where you insert the SD card, but we do, we've not inserted any SD card. So once you take it on arm, within 30 seconds the camera trap will come on and you just leave it here and within 30 seconds the camera trap is automatically going to come on it, it is going to start taking images. Anything moving in front of the camera trap, the camera trap is going to detect, click a photograph and if it is going in the dark hours, it is going to use the flash. Now next morning or whenever you go to remove the camera trap, you just have to go back and see just clicked an image because I triggered the camera while uh, removing it you press the same button mode take it on off it, it lasts confirm once you take it on off it asks for confirm you press the more button and it will go off so all the best this I hope this uh, quick video helps you set up camera traps and all the best with getting good captures.